Hey guys, IVB here. Uh, today my project is going to be add more lighting to the attic, or actually add some lighting. Right now I got a fluorescent lamp strung along the mega extension cords. Uh, problem is I don't have high voltage in the locations that I want to have uh, more lighting, and I'm always coming downstairs and forgetting that lamp, uh, the fluorescent lamp on. So uh, what I'm going to do is, and I also don't want to spend a lot of money and a lot of time on this. So uh, I think I'm going to spend about 60 bucks, I think is what it costs, and maybe 15, 20 minutes max to put in some automated low voltage, uh, the pretty bright lights. Uh, that magic isn't going to happen in this room here, so let's go upstairs to the attic and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, here we are in my attic. Um, this happens to be my space of low light. Uh, you guys will have others. Uh, I'm trying to clean this up because you can see here it's a disaster, but uh, what do I have? Uh, you'll see I have this long red extension cord. There's no light down there. Uh, I can plug this extension cord in and then, uh, oh God. And then there's light way back there, um, but it's not real easy to see. And so I need to figure out a better answer. What is it? Well, up to the rescue. You'll see what I have here. And I got this little fluorescent light strung up. Um, is I actually have one of my elk uh, secondary locations right here. And so what this is, is for those of you who watch the elk video, uh, this is a uh, sensor uh, input expander. So I can add uh, sensors into here. And then this is a relay expander. Uh, let me reposition myself with the lighting and I'll tell you what those are. Okay, now I got everything wired up. Uh, sorry about the lighting, but that's again, the whole point of this whole project anyhow. Uh, so you'll see what I've got is I got a, uh, a, a cheap little uh, on surface uh, box. I think it's like two, three bucks. I got a regular old light switch. I took that and I wired that into one of the uh, elk input zones. Um, I actually decided to mount a motion sensor here as well. And that is mounted into another input zone. And so that's how I'm going to tell uh, the elk what I want to do. Uh, the motion, by the way, also does need power. So what I did is um, I just got one of these um, cheap little $10, 12 volt thingies off Amazon. And so I have that feeding this uh, uh, negative and positive. And uh, that thing's five amps, so that'll be more than enough to drive. So that's the motion detector does need power. So you'll see there's a splice right here. I know the wiring's messy. It's impossible to run this in the dark. Um, here's the lighting. I actually went ahead and installed the, uh, the lighting as well. Um, you'll see it's just, um, it's just got two flying leads that come in off the back. So I ran those wires behind the wall. Uh, there's three of them down back there. So I, I ran them in series. And then um, what happens is with that, that wire, uh, the red comes into here. Uh, the black goes into uh, the uh, elk relay expander. Uh, so that's basically just an automated on off switch. So you'll see one black um, going into the relay, another black coming out of the relay and coming into here. So when I flip this switch electronically, um, the circuit is closed, we have power. Uh, when I don't, um, the lights are off. So that's where, uh, that's how I'm going to use both automated rules. I'll show you that in one second uh, to tell, hey, if I either flip this switch or if you see motion or whatever else, uh, I want the lights on. Let's see what that looks like. So the LKRP stuff is pretty simple. Uh, let's go to zone 97, which is what I had put it into. That's the attic light switch. So you just go ahead and type in a name here. Say attic switch. And that is a type 16 not alarm which I had created as a normally open and then zone 12 is the attic motion, attic motion, which is a hardwire. Um, now we have, now elk knows uh, the inputs for what should happen with those rules. Now you need to trigger the outputs. So you go to rules and I'm going to pause this for one sec so you don't see any of the private stuff. Okay, I went ahead and uh, cleared up those rules because I couldn't avoid showing you uh, private information, so you'll, I'll walk you through it here. Uh, whenever that zone 97 becomes not secure, toggle the light, or whenever the zone 97 becomes secure, toggle the light. What this means is, remember, I could be turning this uh, output on and or off through automated mechanisms as well. And um, I also, so that what that means is, whatever is setting the lights in, it's not a traditional on off like a regular light switch. Uh, I just want to use it as a toggle. So whatever, if I do something intentionally manually, um, whatever's going on, if I turn the light switch off, toggle the light. Um, if I turn the light switch on, toggle the light. 
the adic motion, however, is a little bit different because I only need one rule, which means if there is motion, turn the output on. That's all there is to LCRP, so I'm going to go ahead, send this up to the network, and then I'll see you upstairs to see, uh, see if it worked. All right, let's go see if this thing worked. Uh, you can see the lights are off. Click the switch. A thousand, well, less than one second to see how much of a disaster this is. Um, took the motion sensor off so I wouldn't constantly trip. Uh, let's try this through my phone interface. All right, and you're not going to be able to um, actually see this since it's on my phone, um, but I will try and be quiet and you will hear the elk relay clicking. There it goes. There it goes. Uh, so there you have it. Easy control either through automated rules, your phone, a light switch, motion sensors, um, anything you want. Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty cheap. Thanks for watching.